Imagine a car as fast as a Porsche Carrera and almost as green as a Toyota Prius. And not just any car, but a supercar with a bodacious body and sleek lines that make it one of the most exotic looking automobiles you'll ever see. Meet the clean, green ride with the sting in its tail and the technology of tomorrow under its hood, the Scorpion Hydrogen Supercar. This forward-thinking quarter-of-a-million-dollar beauty theoretically maxes out at around 208 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. It's 1.2 tons heavy, 14 feet long, and 7.5 feet wide at the hood, expanding to just short of 8 feet at the rear. It's very curvy. It has that hourglass figure of a woman's body. It's, it's very pinched at the waist, and, it, and it's bigger in, in the hips. Design-wise, the design trend that we're in now as a whole is a, a little sharper, faceted edge, and they're not there. They're almost either uh, a few years back or they're looking so far forward we haven't quite gotten there yet. The car's really interesting. It's really cool. Those come-hither contours roll seamlessly into the interior of the car as well. The dashboard is very, very curved. So is the seating arrangement. We have exposed crash bars. The chassis is somewhat exposed on the inside. We have exposed aluminum. It's very, very race car oriented. This revolutionary ride is Ron Maxwell's passion. The 40-year auto industry veteran believes that the inspiration for his low-slung beast of a vehicle comes from a higher power. When I was born, God said I need somebody to do automotive stuff. You're that guy. We're Christian people, we're just like everybody else, and we like cars, and we like going fast, and we like doing that stuff. Ron raised money from private investors, and in 2007, set up shop an hour outside of Austin, Texas, to develop an environmentally friendly car like no other on Earth. Most fuel-efficient cars are either square boxes or eggs, and so we wanted to, to dispel that myth that they have to look like that. For a name, Ron took inspiration from the wildlife around his Texas home, where the venomous insects are common. Scorpions have a stinger in the back, and so we, we felt like that would be appropriate for our car. And it's a little Texas. It just wouldn't be the same car if it was Armadillo. But more unique than the name or appearance is the Scorpion's radical power source. Its engine is enhanced by hydrogen, the invisible gas that puts the H in H2O, and the most abundant element in the universe. Hydrogen is a hot topic in car design. But unlike most experimental hydrogen vehicles in development, this car doesn't run on a fuel cell. Instead, this Scorpion tears up the track with a hydrogen internal combustion system. It is the only engine like it in the world. There are a lot of schools of thought that say hydrogen really is the fuel of the future and that most of the fuels we're using now are just a clunky way to get at hydrogen. To use hydrogen as a fuel in an internal combustion engine is to inject it in as if it were gasoline. It does offer some, some potential advantages as Scorpion is, is trying to, to harness. Um, it's more efficient, it's cleaner, it's not an easy fuel to, to obtain and certainly to distribute. Um, the Scorpion has an interesting notion about solving that by actually creating it on the vehicle itself through electrolysis of water using energy from the car's electrical system. It's definitely one of the ways to go and especially if it can be done in a high performance exotic looking car like the Scorpion, we're all for it. We chose this system over the fuel cell. The fuel cell system requires you to have a high pressure tank in the car. Plus, you have to have a hydrogen filling station, and there's just not very many of those yet. So we wanted something that we felt was more practical and something that we could use today to make a change. The hydrogen works with a modified Acura gasoline engine to radically raise efficiency and power and lower emissions. This baby doesn't need to make hydrogen stops like a fuel cell car because it makes its own, then mixes it with gasoline. And where does the hydrogen come from? It's as simple as pouring in a glass of plain old tap water and separating out the hydrogen from the oxygen through electrolysis. What you see here is the black box and that's what stores the water. And that's also where the electrolysis happens, which, fra which is fracturing the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. 
You'll add water right in the top. We're just going to top it off because our system's already full. You'd add about a quarter water right here. Pull the final out. Screw the, the cap back in. And the computer box right here manages everything else and you're done. Using a machine called the dynamometer, Ron's team put the Scorpion through its paces. Testing power, acceleration, and everything that goes into and comes out of the engine. Our gas analyzer system has a probe that goes in the exhaust system. There's a pump that pulls out the exhaust fumes. It reads all the five gases we need to monitor so we can see how much hydrogen actually changes real-time emissions in the car. The green gains are potentially huge. Ron says the Scorpion has up to 90% less toxic emissions than regular cars, emitting almost no CO2. It bumps up the efficiency of the gas-hungry Acura engine by a third. Well, this car, we're getting around 40 plus. Everything that we have on our automobile, we, we designed and built to improve fuel mileage and, and protect the environment while still driving a cool car because we like cool cars. Miraculously, this rule-breaking car took just over six months to research and design and half that to build. Ron went straight from paper to construction with a chassis made of lightweight chrome molly steel and radical body design fashioned out of carbon fiber. But is this little vixen just pretty and good for the planet or can she really perform? Driven race cars professionally and this car's fantastic. It exceeded all my expectations. I've been uh, through a U-turn at a little over 95 mile an hour on this. Uh, it has turns at well over 120, so it handles very well for a street car. Ron Maxwell plans to build 200 of these cars a year and a souped-up 650-horsepower version is in the works. So far, a total of 20 prospective owners have slapped down a deposit for their own Scorpions. The Scorpion Hydrogen Supercar, a Texan Spitfire with a green conscience, and one of the world's most expensive rides.